guys, I'm Haleta Alamu with Collider Video and we're here to help you with something that is super important but also kind of tough, picking what you're gonna watch on Netflix. This is the best movies on Netflix right now. Every week we're giving you a few recommendations of movies that are available to stream on Netflix right now, including a staff pick from a Collider staff member along with updates on the month's new arrivals and expiring titles. Hey, let's get to it. Here's something with a bit of a slower pace, but it's well worth the journey. Director James Gray's The Immigrant takes place in 1921 New York City and stars Oscar winner Marion Cotillard as a Polish immigrant looking for a better life. A Jewish businessman, played by Joaquin Phoenix, takes her under his wing, giving her work while also striking up something of a romantic relationship, which, it turns out, becomes complicated when an illusionist, played by Jeremy Renner, also has eyes for her. Cotillard's character is the heart and soul of this warm and surprising film, and it features some of the most striking cinematography of the decade, courtesy of Darius Konji. Methodical, but not meandering, The Immigrant is a great American tale. For evidence that Justin Timberlake is one of the best entertainers working today, look no further than the concert documentary Justin Timberlake and the Tennessee Kids. Directed by the late Oscar-winning Silence of the Lambs filmmaker Jonathan Demme, who also directed the famous Talking Heads concert film Stop Making Sense, Justin Timberlake and the Tennessee Kids chronicles the final two performances of Timberlake's 2020 Experience Tour. Demme's eye is crucial here, and he brings a dimensionality to all the musicians and dancers that accompany Timberlake on stage, while also capturing the lightning of a Justin Timberlake performance. If you're a fan of good music and want something to watch with some friends on a Saturday night, Justin Timberlake and the Tennessee Kids is 100% pure entertainment. Now it's time to check in on what films are coming to and leaving Netflix in September. Starting September 1st, the Disney animated films Mulan and Hercules both hit Netflix, as does Ben Affleck's directorial debut Gone Baby Gone. As for what's leaving the streaming service, September 1st marks the departure date for horror films Scream, A Nightmare on Elm Street, and Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. And for our next pick, we've got Collider Zone, Josh McCuga. All right, here's your Netflix staff pick of the week. If you guys are a big fan of 80s comedies like me, you're probably wondering what movie am I gonna pick? That's right, I picked Police Academy, the quintessential 80s comedy. It gave us just about everything, weirdness, slapstick, and most importantly, comedy legend Steve Gutenberg. You're probably thinking, I don't know who Steve Gutenberg is. If you're watching this and you don't know, it's because in the 80s, he was so good in movies that the rest of time couldn't take that much Gutenberg. I'm giving it to you now, and I'm giving it to you straight. If you like academies and police, Police Academy is the movie for you. Back to you, Haleta. Here's a movie that's dark, funny, and twisted. It's filmmaker Richard Iotti's The Double. The mighty Bush and IT crowd director directs this Dostoevsky adaptation about a man who is driven to a breakdown when he's confronted with a doppelganger. Jesse Eisenberg plays the lead here, putting his intense nervousness to great use, and he's joined by an equally terrific Mia Wasikowska as a co-worker he admires. This movie is stylish in an almost gothic sort of way, taking place in a reality that's not quite real, but also not quite science fiction, although it's 100% creepy. Iote's sensibilities are almost like a more cynical or hard-edged Edgar Wright with quick editing and a sharp wit. And while the double doesn't exactly offer easy answers to its lofty questions, it's incredibly entertaining. That's it for this week's edition of the best movies on Netflix right now. We'll be back next week with more recommendations. Bye!